batteries lithium ion batteries that's what we're going to talk about here today let's get started So as you can see here, I have a ton of different batteries. We have Husqvarna, we have Toro, we have DeWalt, and right here we have the Lightly. And they're all some form of lithium ion batteries. And just about, I would say, every one of them has probably lithium in it. Now, obviously the big trend right now in today's age is to go to power or battery powered equipment and get away from the gas. Obviously that's the big trend right now, but let's talk about it. So every battery right here is made in China, except for this one right here is the DeWalt. I've had this battery now for probably about five years. It comes with uh, most of their power tools. I have this for my uh, power hammer drill, and this one's actually made in Japan. But on the back of the Toro, the Husqvarna, and the Lightly, they all say PRC, or the, Pub the People's Republic of China, otherwise known as China. So let's talk about actually what goes into making lithium or actually where does lithium come from so believe it or not the world's largest supplier of lithium is actually south america believe it or not there's actually a region there it's called the lithium triangle now when lithium gets mined out of the ground that's how it comes out of the ground because it is a natural element it has to get mined out of the ground and then from there it gets sent most likely to china Let's think about that for a second. We're taking lithium out of the ground, we're mining it out of the ground, we're sending it across the world to China to be refined, where then it can be put into batteries like this and then made into products that we're gonna use because they have lesser emissions or carbon dioxide emissions in the air. I mean, to me, in that sense, it kinda like, What's the point of really making these battery powered equipment if we're not gonna do it in a more efficient way? China by far is the largest country in the world with CO2 emissions. Meanwhile, the United States, we are, as you can see on this graph, our CO2 uh, emissions have gone down in recent years, but we are getting most of our products, most of these products right here from a country that their CO2 commissions haven't really gone down. They have gone up, if anything, from this graph over the years. So let me summarize my whole thought process on this battery movement. Now, I'm, and I, I like the direction that we're going. I think there's still a lot of uh, uh, components that go into these battery mowers and different things that are, there's a lot of plastic in these, in these items. And longevity wise is what my biggest concern is with a lot of those products out there. Now, another thing is, is China, for instance. China makes, I know, I understand, they make just about all of our products here in the United States. And I hate seeing that. I, I, I like seeing America-made stuff. Obviously, there's a cost factor when it comes into this kind of stuff. But let's take China, for instance. Their CO2 emissions are really not really going down. So we're getting our batteries made from a country that's not really reducing their CO2 emissions to make batteries for us to reduce our CO2 com commission, uh, emissions. There's probably a ton of people out there that won't probably agree with me on that, but or that thought process, but that's just my thought process when it comes to the battery thing. Like, how really clean energy is it when we're making this stuff, but we're using a ton of CO2 to make this kind of stuff? And another factor, that a lot of us probably don't think about is these batteries are not going to last forever and i've done a couple i've seen a couple articles online when you know about lithium ion batteries when you do leave them out in colder climates that they can reduce you know their chargeability or their longevity of the batteries as well and i've noticed that definitely with my dewalt my dewalt batteries are definitely they don't last as long when you have them on the drill as they did when they were brand new and I leave all my stuff in my garage over the winter time. I do not bring anything inside. I don't have a basement or anything like that where I could do that or storage in my house. So all of this will just sit out in my garage over the winter time. And I definitely noticed that in the DeWalt battery. But the end factor, what I was getting to is the recyclability or how are we gonna recycle these batteries when they go bad? We can't just throw lithium into landfills. Now we are probably, I haven't done a ton of research yet, but I'm sure there are batteries sitting in landfills somewhere and it's really bad for the environment. 
and depending on where these landfills are it could be bad as well now there are co companies out there that are looking into repurposing these lithium or the different elements that are in batteries one of those people is a former cto of actually tesla he won he actually broke away from tesla and he founded a company where they recycle lithium batteries because at some point we're going to need to do that because the lithium in our in our actual world you know in our actual planet is going to that supply is going to reduce over time where we're going to need to replenish it somehow so we're going to need to look into recycling this kind of stuff that's why i'm okay i'm for the car the electric car stuff and then i'm against it because when it comes down to it we have to do something with these batteries at some point i mean we can't just they're they're going to go bad and now i've seen different research out there where you can turn lithium batteries into a storage you can break obviously like i said you can break them down and you can repurpose them and i think we don't talk about that enough when it comes to the battery stuff i think you know we just think oh green energy that's great but we don't think of the process that goes into making them or into recycling them so let me know your thoughts on today's video i've been thinking about this video for a while now this is one of those videos where i just like to get something on camera and get people thinking and get people talking you know like i said there are two aspects of it how are, is everything being made is it really reducing our green energy is it really green energy in a way so let me know your thoughts please i want everyone to please comment below what you think about the battery movement think about what i talked about today and please comment below if you found today's video helpful or if you enjoyed today's video like always guys please smash that like button it really does help out with the channel and if you're interested in any of my other content i'm available on instagram i'm available on TikTok. go check me out there and like always guys i'll see you in the next one